tripod going there. I think we're just going right here. It's for earthquake shooting, huh? Kiku, have a seat. Uh, Randy, I want to ask uh, what we are talking about. Which one? Can we get it back? Go back in time? Do oh, yeah. yeah. Okay, so let's just get some time. Please, if um, we ask a question to Billy, that let Billy answer completely so that there's no overlapping dialogue. Okay. Okay. You know, last night we were talking about if you were in the ship and you go back to the year 32 and you die there. And uh, we, were, uh, we weren't clear. If you die in 32 on a trip, your spirit stays there, then it has to live forward again. Mm -hmm. Yeah? So you wouldn't come back to 1988 no. and stay in 32? No. Yeah? You still have to spend the life again. Again. From that time, from the past to today. Yeah. So you'd have to go from 32 all the way back to 1990, yeah? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. I think we can just talk a little bit about spirit forms. It's probably the easiest. The um, spirit forms that we are, what is the difference between spirit and spirit form? Uh, there is no a difference because spirit form or spirit is just exactly the same. Yeah. But uh, if we are talking about the human being, we are speaking from the spirit form in the human being. And generally, we speak from the spirit. Mm. Okay, so the um, the spirit forum goes through many material lives. And what is the purpose of the material life? Um, the human have to stay in a material life to study, to learn to get a good evolution. That's the reason why he lives. Mm. And when he dies, the spirit or the spirit form goes to the other side and is studied there too. And if the whole study is fulfilled there in the other side, then the spirit form returns to the earth into a new human body. And then it starts everything from the beginning again. Is it possible to be born on another planet than the one you die on? No. You are uh, on this planet, uh, if you are living on this planet, and you die, then you have to reincarnate on this planet again. It's impossible to leave this planet as a spirit form because uh, this spirit form is fixed to this planet where the mat uh, material body dies. Mm. How long does it take to come back into a new life? Uh, the normal turnus is uh, by 150 and two years. But now, in the new age, the new time, there is everything changing. Because there is uh, a big overpopulation and all of the laws are somehow broken and uh, the spirit forms who goes to the other side they have to return out 
of the normal time, maybe they will be in the other side for 10 years or 30 years or 70 years and not 150 and 2 and then they have to return. And these all about the overpopulation we have on Earth. Is it possible for us normal people to contact the other side? No, it isn't. There are uh, around there are around the world sixteen people who are able to get contact with the other side, but not any one of them will go out to tell somebody I am able to do it because it isn't necessary and it isn't the right way uh, the right way to do this. Mm. It's absolutely wrong. If somebody says he has a contact with the other side, yeah. with people who died, then he is a liar. Now he's confused and he's thinking, yeah. 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 I think a liar or 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 uh, or an actor or something <laughs> like that. a foolish person. Foolish person. <laughs> yeah. I think so. Yeah, many people think they are in contact with people from the other side and that the other side is a world just like this and they go visit them all the time. Mm -hmm. And on the other side is only the spirit, right? There's yeah. no personality? No. There is. Yeah. So. You see, and uh, there is so many people around this world who says that they have contact with the other side, or with aliens, or uh, with demons, or, or devils, or <laughs> what you yeah. ever like, that's, that's all not uh, true. That's the most of them, it's illness. Mm. They have an overturned mind. They are, they are sick. Uh. They are... Uh, what? I think okay. sick. <laughs> they are uh, out of mind. Mm -hmm. Do the Pleiadians have the ability to know when uh, a woman is pregnant, for instance, on a Pleiadian world? Do the, can the Pleiadians tell who the spirit is coming in? Yes, they have the possibility. Uh, how soon can they tell? When do they know? Uh, they can do this in a very short time, maybe 20 minutes, half an hour. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because they go to recognize uh, what happened there, uh, which spirit uh, is there in, in the new baby who is created they have the possibilities on, on a meditative way. So that helps them understand who the spirit is then. Yeah. So they have a better ability to help that person. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I think this would be good for school, for education then. Yes, of course. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What were you going to say? Oh, I'm wrong? Um, yeah, five million people. Billy, one of the most common questions is um, there are a lot of people on Earth and many people would like to know if it's possible. Why did the Pleiadians contact you? Was there a special reason? That's a special reason. Because I'm the single one on Earth who is able to have uh, no um, a physical contact or uh, no telepathic contact with the Pleiadians. There is no any other human being on earth who is, who is able to do the same thing like I do. And uh, this has, a, this has a, a very long story. It goes back to a very old time on the start of the Lyra picture and Vega picture. 
and uh, to a label who is called Arahat Atterzata. And my spirit form was very long time ago, million, billion years, trillion years ago in the level of the Arahat Atterzata and came back to the human world to teach the people in the truth about creation and their love. You say the level. And, and uh, this happens on the Lurian planet so and the vegan planet so and then at later time on the earth too because the old Lurians and vegans came to earth and the old spirit form of my came with them as a human uh, in a human being who was teaching the people here on earth and then on earth we have uh, uh, a very true line from the oldest time up to today where i have done always the same job the same mission do you think your mission, uh, will there be more lifetimes for the mission? Yes, there have to be. Mm -hmm. uh, are the Pleiadians, I think the Pleiadians are related to us somehow, that many of us uh, maybe are Pleiadians, some people think, or Lyrians, and are there... Uh, are uh, there are not Pleiadians on Earth. There are all Lyrians and Vegans on Earth. There was a, a leadership by 144,207 different people. And they was leading all the Lurians and Vegans who came from the star picture there to Earth by some 50 or 52 million people from from Vega and, and, and Lyra. And if we have alien alien uh, spirit forms on Earth, then only Lurians and Vegans and from the planet Malona who destroyed in our solar system. And these are about uh, around about 50 or 55 million too. And other aliens we have on Earth. Without them who are coming here for visiting or exploring. So many people who think they, maybe they used to live on a Pleiadian world and you think there are any spirits here that used to be Pleiadians? No. No. Pleiadians, not. Billy, one of the more interesting things, I think, to the stories we've heard about is your time travel. It's very fascinating because time is something that's very difficult to understand for all of us. And I think one of the things we'd many people would like to know, if you can go back in time, like you have in the ship, is it possible to go back and change history? Can you change right now if you went back in time? No, you can't uh, change history. Oh, you can't? No. What would happen if you went back, say, 100 years and uh, changed your parents or caused them not you to be born? You it's can't. It's impossible. You can't go back to kill somebody that cannot shall be living today. It's impossible. It's not possible to go back to change your parents. What happened, what was going on, is what's going on and is not changeable. That's a, a, a little bit uh, a fun.
funny idea of the human being to can do something like this, but it is impossible. I think in the movies they because in 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 the movie you can do such yeah. uh, things, but uh, in reality it's absolutely impossible because there are laws uh, and then uh, they you don't can go to break because these are laws of the creation and the creation uh, with the creation you can't play mm -hmm. and two not with the laws. Billy, at uh, one of your time travel trips, the you were the Pleiadians made it possible for you to go visit Emmanuel and. Who who was Emmanuel? Is he a man just like us, or did, what did they tell you about him? About whom? Emmanuel. Emmanuel, he was a man like us. He was nothing else. Did they have? Uh, did the Pleiadians were they involved somehow with Emmanuel's life? I don't understand. Uh, at the time Emmanuel was here, mm -hmm. uh, did the Pleiadians, were they involved with him? Did they talk to him or help him? Was there any contact with him? Yes, they was connected to him. They was working with him together. Mm -hmm. And what did he tell you and about? They was, they was working uh, on the same mission as today together with Emmanuel, and he was working on the same mission too. And this mission goes uh, back through the year um, 389,000 from now. Do the Pleiadians have a special message for us, or why are they contacting us through you? Uh, the special me uh, message, message, the special uh, message we have from the Pleiadians, we have all written in our books. There are about uh, ten thousand pages and uh, the most important point of this message is this to teach the earth people to the right way back to the creation and the creation laws to live with them and for them. In the movies, they usually portray extraterrestrials as monsters or dangerous or using their ships to, you know, harm us. Uh, do you think we should? Is there any fear from That's the police? <laughs> 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 what other uh, maybe you could tell us something about the creational laws. You talk about creation, but um, what what is the laws of creation? What do you mean by that? Uh, the creation laws. The mostly of them you can find out in the free nature. If you are looking at the animals, the plants, the flowers, the trees, the whole life who is going on in the free nature, there you can find out the laws of the creation. What is the true, how it is working, how it is going on, everything on the right, free, and lawful way. From that and all the laws you can find out through meditation, through initiation, through your feeling, and through your own thinking. And if you get uh, a clear hearing, clear feeling, what you need in the meditation to clear seeing and everything like this. Good question. Yeah. Does that mean that every spirit that comes in, into this planet um, does not have accidents, that they come in physically prepared? Um, each spirit for
worm who goes into a body of a human being it comes a woman pregnant uh, is completely by good health the spirit themselves or the spirit form how you like to say uh, is not able to come ill to come sick nothing possible and the body of the of the baby of each life form has the right to be absolutely uninsured on body and spirit and mind and everything when it comes to this world or each other world in the space out. What's life like on with the Pleiadians? What are their lifestyles? Do they use money? Do they have cars? No, they don't use money. They have uh, other system. They work two hours a day. And uh, they have uh, a check card. And uh, if they was working these two hours a day, everywhere they want, they don't have a, a special place where a place where they have to stay and to work. They can go around the world, everywhere to work where they want. And uh, this check card will be checked by, uh, by a, a robot, by a machine, and then they can get everything they use and they like for, they for uh, living, for life, for luxus. Do they have a big city, like here or not? They have uh, big cities, not on the same size like our cities. There are uh, separated, uh, what you call, the house in the city, the houses in the city or the buildings in the city, they are like a square. And the room uh, the space inside is free for uh, plants and trees and flowers or for uh, siesta and all this it's each building the same for uh, for uh, what shall I say for this kind of life, what they are having there. And uh, in each building, there is just one family by maximal five persons, the parents and three children and not more. I think also, uh, do they have marriage like we do? They have marriage, but how they do the marriage I don't know. <laughs> I haven't any idea. I only know there are the spirit leaders or the, yeah, spirit leaders uh, who put together or bring together men and wives. And normally a man has between one and four wives. Something else as we have here on earth. Is it possible for the women to also have many husbands? No. They have one husband. A civilized planet. <laughs> <laughs> Good laugh. Somebody got it right. And, right. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, <coughs> the other buildings, the other houses they have, they are outside of cities. And they are separate.
separated in a square by 100 to 100 meters and there inside is always one house only for one family. Do they live longer than we do? Yeah, they have around about 1,000 years. Is that because of medical advances or science? The whole years? evolution. And to the old Lurians and the old Vegans, they had a very high lifetime. <coughs> Billy, what is the game root and how do we learn to work with it? What is? The game root. Uh, <coughs> the Gemüt, das Gemüt, <laughs> that's um, the spiritual part, I have to say it another way, the Gemüt is the spiritual part of that what we have in the material part the psyche so it's the counterpart to the <coughs> to the psyche on the material side of the mind yeah i think it's like a, a sensor or something you said that connects us to creation uh you see the the gemüt is in the spiritual part, the same thing what we have as psyche in the material part, in the, in, in the physical body. And the Gemüt is working on the same wise as the, as the psyche. Together with the wisdom and the feeling of the spirit, like the psyche in the material uh, material body, with the thinking and the feeling. One thing I know people are curious about is why we're born either a man or a woman, and do we go back and forth? And if you are a woman, do you stay a woman for a long time, or does it go back and forth? No, you can change this from lifetime to lifetime. If you stay in this life, you are a man now, and do you like to be a woman at the next lifetime, next reincarnation or next incarnation, uh, then you have to, to program yourself, your mind, uh, your, we have again the word consti consciousness, consciousness, <laughs> uh, to get a free line to be at next time a woman. Oh, so we have control over that. You have control over it. But if you not are clear working, you don't know really want you now be a man or a woman, then uh, it will be a little bit uh, a little bit uh, wrong at the next lifetime because then you will be a homosexual man. If you not know what you will be really, if a woman or if a man. So you must make the decision with clear thinking. Yes. And if you leave this life without clear thinking and you are confused yeah. if to be man or woman, yeah. then maybe you will come back homosexual. Yeah. Um, do you make the decision on the other side to be a man or a woman or that must be first in the material life? Huh? Uh, these you already up in your mind in the material life. Do we have you, set, you, you will set in, in, in the material life the directly line to be that or that in the next life. Mm. A lot of
other people are. But uh, you have, you have to be careful um, about uh, homosexuality. There is other kind of homosexuality. The second one is uh, made out of a uh, of a DC. disease. Disease. Yeah. Like a stiffness. Yeah. Oh. Is it possible? But both you can change yeah. through teaching. Uh, if you are teaching such uh, people who is homosexual, you can uh, help them maybe by uh, what you say, uh, psychologic. Oh, psychology. Psychology. I think. Yeah. Help them with their thinking. Yeah. So if someone is homosexual this lifetime, then you can help them get their thinking clear, and the yeah. next time they will not be homosexual. Yeah. yeah. Or maybe it's possible to change it in this life, that they come to real good uh, thinkings and feelings, and they can change in this life. That's absolutely possible. Is it possible to, if you choose next lifetime not to be physical, can you get into what they call light body? No, that's absolutely impossible. Uh, the human being from the beginning, from the earliest beginning to that point when he comes a light body or, or a, a spirit body, how we say, it takes uh, between 60 and 80 billion years with several thousands or billions of incarnations or reincarnations, how you ever would say. It's absolutely impossible to uh, have three incarnations or 1,000 incarnations on this earth and then you will be so clever to get out of your body to come a light body or a spirit body is absolutely impossible. The earliest point you need will be by 60 billion years with several uh, billions or, or millions incarnations or reincarnations. <coughs> After we evolve into the light body and past that we evolve back into creation, does that mean that the central... So this takes a very long time. Yeah. Does that mean that the central core of the universe, the central sun, is is that uh, spirit forms, things that used to be spirit forms, have now evolved <coughs> into that? <coughs> um, the central form or the central sun, what you ever will say, that's the creation spirit, the going out of everything from our universe and of every life form. And there we will go back one time very far in the future. If you are uh, in our evolution so high to be able to get the connection with that power. But there are, uh, if we as human leave or lose our bodies and grows up to a light form or, or spirit form, that's the first step, what I told you, between 60 and 80 billion years, then are other levels with several trillion years and, and, and 
quadrillion years, it goes higher and higher up, up to the highest point, and the last one is the level of Pedale. Before the creation herself, and from the Pedale level, it's possible to get the highest, uh, highest body of spirit, the finest body of spirit, to enter the creation herself, to come once with her. <laughs> um, anger, hate, jealousy, fear. Ah, uh, are we born with those? Emotions, emotions. we say, uh, emotion. Yeah, emotions. Uh, that's a uh, made out of the human being himself. Uh, he makes himself anger. He makes himself love. He makes himself everything what's falling into emotion. And motion have to be controlled by the human being. That is that it is uh, giving out a point of evolution not on that way that if you are angry goes to kill somebody or to hit somebody motions they are always on this kind like the human being then use or prepare always wrong. They are not good. You have these motions to use them on this way that you start to control them and the best thing what's going out as result of them to use for yourself and for your evolution. You understand what I mean? Yeah. Billy, there are many people that are fascinated with the continent of Atlantis. Did, was that a Pleiadian continent? Did the Pleiadians have something to do with Atlantis? Uh, the Pleiadians have nothing to do with uh, old Atlantis. Uh, the old Lurians and Vegans had something to do with Atlantis. I mean uh, some parts of the Lurians and Vegans who, who uh, had stations here on Earth, who was living here on Earth, but they got trouble together and so and then they destroyed Atlantis through an Adonis this means uh, a small or a big asteroid they brought to Earth and destroyed Atlantis with them. We have uh, a story, Semyasi told us, uh, such a story about Atlantis and what happened there. It's all written in the, in the contact notes. I read that. It was fascinating how it all came to an end. Mm -hmm. yeah. There was a city called Mu that they had a... Uh, Mu, I think, 
was the capital city of the enemies of the Atlantis people and Mu was how I know or I think in the Chinese desert. Are there any people left from Atlantis or Mu or any of them still here? Uh, there shall be some people left and they shall live in uh, underground cities near the Himalaya, India, and uh, they have a bluish color on skin. I have seen at once in India three people with bluish color and I think they came from there. It was absolutely unnormal in India to see people with blue, <laughs> blue skin. Would kind of stand out, would <laughs> mm -hmm. Billy, speaking of colors, in our galaxy, are there a lot of other human lives just like us? Yes. There are uh, some more than 42 million different human races. With many different colors of skin, I suppose. With uh, some around about uh, 340 or 350 different colors. Mm -hmm. Are many of them visiting Earth? No. Not many. We hear many stories. The, 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 the Pleiadians, they told me there will be about 3,000 or something in flying to Earth's atmosphere each year by, by uh, UFOs. But uh, the mostly of them are such ones who are exploring the earth and also are they always the same races, the same people who, who, who comes here. There are not many uh, aliens who comes to earth. There are some of course but not so many how the people is telling around the world. Yeah, they seem to be landing every day in California. Yeah. <laughs> Where did the American Indian come from? Uh, the American Indian was uh, one of the first three races who was created here on Earth. You know what uh, one cellar? Yeah. One cell, uh, like a single cell amoeba? Or yes. Mm -hmm. the, the first human on Earth uh, was starting as a one cellar. And then he came as a whoppering kind of, of, of something. And throughout of them, slowly, slowly, uh, came out and grew up uh, the body of the human being. Did it start in the ocean? It started in the ocean. What about the theory we came from apes? That's absolutely idiotic. Where did the apes come from? Uh, the apes 
they have uh, the same thing like the human being. They uh, came after the plants. At first was uh, the, the flora on earth. And the flora had uh, fallouts, not radioactive fallouts, I mean uh, fallouts of, uh, of their uh, bodies. And they mixed together, mixed themselves together, and then came out uh, a new kind of living form one cellar again and uh, then they grow it up to more cellar and then came out slowly slowly fish and out of the fish came later uh, the, the apes and uh, other animals on land because uh, fish was going on land, and then came the land animals. To the Pleiadians. And then, when happens this, when was here all the flora and the fauna, all the, the, the plant life and the animal life, uh, they had. Uh, the same way to go and they put out some uh, stuffs uh, what you call amino amino acids yeah mm -hmm. amino acids and they put them together to and then was growing up slowly, slowly the human being. It's also not a made out of, of the apes. Billy, we have a lot of problems on Earth that we all know about, and many people think maybe the Pleiadians are coming to solve our problems. Are they going to help us uh, in any way that you know of? No, they don't will help us. The single way they help us to bring the teachings what they belong to our mission uh, I can get informations or I got informations and I can write down them and then give out to the people that's the only thing they hope of. So it's up to us. Yeah. They not come here to, to make peace. They not come here to make war. They not have any ambitions to overtake the earth and the earth human and everything. They aren't interested in this. They only feel them somehow, what you say, guilty? Guilty, yeah. Mm -hmm. About their forebears who have done trouble, trouble here on earth. And now they want to bring us back the teaching, the spiritual teaching, and the teaching about creation, and creation, law, and right, life, and everything. With these teachings, if a person wants to learn to evolve, and putting it the action, how do we begin? Uh, the first thing, what the human have to do, to begin to study through the meditation he has to listen to his inner voice that's the first step and to keep 
these things, what's telling the inner voice, and to work with them. And the second thing is learn to see, to hear, to feel, to speak on a very clear way. And then the meditation themselves. And if the meditation is done after some years, if the meditation is coming clear and uh, clear and good, uh, then the human can go a step higher. and then he can do the initiation. And this means he can begin to start to talk with his inner voice, with his consciousness, consciousness. <laughs> <laughs> and with the spiritual part in him. Billy, are you still having contacts with Semyasi? Uh, the contact with Semyasi ended uh, on '84. Then she left our planet and left our universe to the Dal universe. And there she is now living for the next 70 or 72 years without any returning to our universe. The contacts with Semyasi, they are also gone. But uh, still there is uh, sporadic contact with uh, Da, with uh, Quetzal, Dalida, and all them. Did Semyasi have contacts with uh, anybody else while she was here? No, no. The single contact uh, Semyasi had all the time she was on Earth was with me only. Do any of the other Pleiadians have contacts with people on Earth? Uh, not on a way that uh, the contact person knows that there is a contact. The people there are between 24,000 and 25,000 people around the earth who get contact impulses from Pleiadian and Bavi people. Bavi uh, is uh, a rat who is uh, working very old time together with the Pleiadians and also 24, 25,000 people have a contact on impulse body, uh, base also they don't know anything about that that they have contact that they get, uh, get impulses from outside from aliens not any one of them and there was two other persons in Germany they had a telepathic contact to the Pleiadians not by Semyase there was uh, some other people responsible for them, but these two people, a man and a 16-year-old girl, they died in the meantime. They had an accident in uh, Italy. And, uh, the, the reason for that, that these two, two people had contact, telepathic contact with the Pleiadians, was this because they should come 
to inform the people about my mission that everything I'm bringing is true and that I'm working on this mission with the Pleiadians. They was something like uh, uh, a proof for me, but they died by accident. And now I'm the single one who has telepathic contact with the Pleiadians and physical contact. And there is no any connection between uh, the Pleiadians and any other earth human being, if man, if child, or if woman. There is just really nothing. And each one who, who, who comes and says, uh, oh, I have contact with uh, someone from, from uh, the Pleiadians, from that uh, planet or from that sun system, from the play, uh, Pleiades and all this, that's all, uh, what you say, uh, swindle, hoax. Nonsense. Nonsense. <laughs> One of our favorite words. Yeah. <coughs> there is around the world not any one person more without me. And the other thing, what all they who say that they have contact with the Pleiadians don't know, is this, the Pleiades, what you can see, on the on, on the night firmament, there is not any possibility for human to live there. The Pleiades, what you can see on the sky, they are too young as they can carry life. The planets, they are there, they are so young, there is no life possible on it. Two not by the suns, they are too young, they are really blue. And that's the thing what all they who say, oh, I have contact with Pleiadians, not knows. There is not one human being there up on the Pleiadians. Nobody home. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Um, Pleiadians, the Pleiadians, they say that they are coming from the Pleiades. They say this about that point. They have a second part uh, a, a little part or a short part of a second different time out of our time of our room and our space a point where are the, the Pleiades you know uh, if here are the Pleiades we can see on the sky. There are in other room space, other planets, and they call them by the same names, what we call the Pleiades, what we can see from here on the sky. But it's in other room time, much more finer, then our room time and room space. And their structure is much more finer as our structure as human being from the earth. And it's impossible for them to make shake hands with the human uh, on earth or only go near them because it's very dangerous for them. 
and they also are out of our room space, uh, uh, out of our uh, time space. They are not there where are our Pleiades. What is telepathy and can we develop it? Uh, telepathy, that's a kind of uh, hearing to, of listen, but on a very, very fine way you use the ears for, is, for, this, tele uh, for this telepathy. We call it the primary telepathy. That's not the real telepathy. The real telepathy, that's spiritual telepathy, and this goes on and is based on uh, symbols. But the, the primary telepathy is working on uh, words, on words and on pictures, real, uh, uh, like uh, a photography or uh, or something, a body or something, what you can produce into uh, other human being through his air. And through his consciousness. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Are there exercises? I on? never left. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think we're going to have to give the kitchen up soon, but before we stop, um, yeah. what do you got? Yeah, I got a couple more. Um, uh, are we able to evolve far enough in this life to be able to get into the Akashi records and to learn our personal keys? Well, first of all, maybe you could tell us, what is the Akashic Records? Uh, the Akashic Records is, we call it, we, we, we call it by an other name, uh, Cosmical Speicher. Uh, there records everything that's, that's a level around the sphere around the earth uh, and there will be recorded everything what is doing a human being what he is thinking what he is feeling what he is speaking what he is doing everything will be there recorded and if you die and return in another incarnation, you will get impulses from there. And then you get eine Ahnung. Ahnung. And then you know things, you know, uh, you get results without knowing from where. That's all the made out of uh, of this uh, Akashi record. And uh, sometimes you can find people, but they are very, very few only. They can use the Akashi records for getting impulses out of their from other people, not from himself, because his frequency is very near to them of the other ones who he can get impulses from them. Then maybe can be a drawer or, or a writer or, or a companist or something who get impulses and then you say, oh, that's Michelangelo. He had contact with Michelangelo. 
but he hasn't contacted Michelangelo. He only gets impulses out of the Akasha records from that frequency who had a speciality, what I told you, uh, Michelangelo. Mm -hmm. How do we learn to, to use the keys? How do we learn what our keys are? Through the meditation, too. Everything you will do on, on spiritual way or on con consciousness. on consciousness way is going through the meditation and initiation. Always. There is no other way. So when we always uh, talk about the word love, what is it? <laughs> that, it's got a few days. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, it's impossible to tell you in a short way. <laughs> but there is a thing called love. Hmm? But there is love. There is love, of course. And it's not intellectual, it's spiritual. Uh, you, don't, you know, I, I, I don't uh, have the translated word. There is a, a short way to say what's the law. But I don't know what to tell in English. Maybe if you ask uh, Bruni, he can tell you, he can translate you. I think maybe we can uh, kind of finish, and if you have maybe just um, a message to everybody about the information the Pleiadians are bringing us, uh, maybe just something you'd like to say to people about, you know, uh, a message from yourself about the mission. And can you look here? Yeah. So we'll finish. <laughs> <laughs> I think something about how it might be uh, useful to information or how to learn to be 100% res responsible for themselves or just some reason why they should pay attention to all the information. You see what I have to say? Uh, each human being, what he is doing every time, at day, at night, week by week, month by month, year by year. He is always responsible for himself. There is not a God who is responsible for the human doing. There are not angels. There is not holy people who is carry for the human being the responsibility. The human being always is responsible for everything for himself. Oh. Yeah, um, this can be short. Some years ago, uh, Wendell Stevens, I think, made a model when you were taking pictures. Mm -hmm. uh, and some of the pictures are floating around America. And maybe you could just, uh, a short question. No, uh, why these, they made the model. These, these, uh, there was made of two models. And I think Wendell Stevens and Lee Elders and Tom Welsh uh, got them by a student for each four hundred dollars, I think. And uh, they brought them to, uh, they brought them both to here when we were filming for the movie Contact. And uh, then we tried to make some of this model flying by a stick and a string. <laughs> and this was all filmed by this, uh, by this uh, movie people. And one of the models I got for myself as a present, as a souvenir, and this I still have in my office. Is just one last question. <laughs> okay. um, could you explain the role of the figures? Oh. Uh, the role of the figures.
Mexico, it's simple. They have uh, to correct everything what I am writing down to clear up it and then to print, to make books and to bring out them to the people over all the world. Two, with the mission to teach the people in the creation laws and with everything what happens around they have to do a hard work and they have to learn by themselves they have to study themselves they have to meditate to make initiation and everything. They have to learn who are they really and what they have to do in this life really. And they have to be here for all the people who is interested in the mission. And the most important thing, our FIGO members, the mostly of our FIGO members, are belonging to the old Lurians. And they are staying under a codex. What they have uh, fixed it up several thousand years ago and they stay now under this codex and for this codex they have sworn at that time they have to work for it now and uh, that's not only with our people here in Hinterschmidrüsti in the Semiotic Silver Star Center the same will be in the United States, like we have the same in Japan or, or uh, in Sweden. They have to fulfill their mission. What they were saying for it, we will do in some 389,000 years ago. One other thing. <laughs> just one more. Just one. <laughs> well, I need kitchen no, no, I have <laughs> like 20 seconds of just quietness, though, in case we need to put room time in. I let a door. <laughs> Thanks, Bill. That was real good. Mm. And we'll, it's uh, a lot of good things that we can use in there. That'd be really good. You know, the best thing what you can do, you translate everything and read it in English. I know. <laughs> it's so much easier when everybody read it. Well, it's coming to that eventually. Or you study the German language. Okay. Yes, that may be a shortcut. That's the best way. For many people, I think. Yeah, what do you like to know? Oh, I just ask questions all night with you. <laughs> 